Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Yan Xu, and I taught seventh and eighth grade Chinese class in Big Four Middle School in Newton in the past year. My research question is. How does the employment of technologies influence students' acquisition of Chinese language? So the purpose of my research is to examine the relationships between use of technologies and impacts it might or might not make on students' learning of Chinese language, and also inform my decisions on use of technologies in my own teaching. So for this research, I focus on seventh grade class I taught, uh, which had 22 students, 17 male, and five male uh, female students. So my research data source includes student surveys, artifacts, and students' work, such as Quizlet data, and tests and quiz grades, etc. So for this research, I focus on two technologies that I had used often in my practicum, Quizlet and PowerPoint presentation. So Quizlet is an interactive online learning tool with six different study modes. As you can see here, I know perhaps it's a little bit hard. So it has flashcards and learn and uh, match and so on and so forth. And basically, um, I regularly assign uh, Quizlet for Calvary study, study sets as homework, and also in preparation for quizzes and tests for my students. So PowerPoint presentation is a slideshow, and I often use that to help my students learn and practice Chinese um, uh, vocabulary and sentence structures with image prompts like this one here, when I was teaching Bruce unit. <laughs> so through my uh, student teaching and uh, this research, I found there are pros and cons for use of uh, Quizlet and uh, PowerPoint presentation in my teaching. So what works? So for Quizlet, um, it has helped my students learn Chinese because 22 students, 100% um, basically, either strongly agreed or agreed that it has helped them and learn Chinese. Um, in addition, according to the online class progress reports, between February and May, and uh, they show that about 20 to 40 percent of the students usually completed more than one activity. So, sorry, it's a bit hard to see. So, you see the green one here, meaning they finished that activity actually. So, which exceeded the homework requirement. Normally, it would be um, five minutes work or one completed activity. So what didn't work? Although it is a helpful study tool um, for my students, but the good grades that majority of my students got for the tests and quizzes cannot be attributed to Quizlet alone. Secondly, um, I found that Quizlet is not necessarily um, suitable for all students' learning styles. And this is um, one response from March survey I conducted. Um, the student said, technologies haven't helped me learn a lot of Chinese. Quizlet kind of pressures you to do better in my mind. Clearly, he or she didn't like it too much. And lastly, Quizlet does not necessarily help my students learn writing of Chinese language. Um, according to my experience and their in-class uh, practice, and also their test results. For example, like this too, and my students use Quizlet to prepare for this closing unit um, quiz, and uh, these two students got 100% for listening section. Unfortunately, none of them was able to write all four characters correctly, as you can see, circling red. So what about PowerPoint presentation? And um, this is an image that I used in my uh, presentation when I was teaching 
say um, new description word for closing unit? Tai da la. Can anyone take a guess what it means in English? Non native speakers, please. <laughs> <laughs> so, tai da la. So, description word for closing. Anybody can take a guess? No? Too big. Too big. <laughs> All right, thank you for helping out there. Tai <laughs> da means too big. So, as you can see, the National Association of uh, Image and Words uh, can attract students' attention and uh, it also increases students' comprehensibility of the language itself. According you know, to my student feedback, my experience, and also a recent study. So in the MARC survey, I also received some positive feedback about use of slideshow in my class. Um, I asked student Ashley to name one thing about Ms. Poe's teaching that you like the most, and one thing you like to see change the most. And here we go. I like that Ms. Ho teaches using slides, and that really helps give me a visual as well as a hearing of the words. It's like hitting a flock of knowledge with one stone. I think it's really cute. So what didn't work? About in the May survey, about 27% of my students disagree that PowerPoint has helped them learn Chinese, and it was also mentioned 10 times that as a technology that helped them learn Chinese the least. So I received, I received a lot of written uh, responses as well. And then uh, the main reasons given were slideshow does not go at students' own pace and in the classroom. And uh, it's not as interactive as some other technologies such as Quizlet as we saw earlier. And so over time, I also realized that you know, use of realia can be as effective as, if not more than use of PowerPoint in different teaching situations. Uh, for example, you know, for speaking practice, and uh, instead of having all my students staring at the screen at the same time, and instead, I gave each student a different fashion magazine page. Oops. like this, and each page has many different closing items in different colors. So I had them find one pepper at a time and ask each other questions and answers. And uh, so by doing this, and it not only, they not only had more image props and produce language output at once, but also the use of classroom time uh, was quickly maximized. In my view, this type of um, activity cannot be replicated with use, with use of PowerPoint presentation. So once realized what worked and what, what didn't, and I adjusted my practice during my student teaching. So I used different best methods, such as use of realia, whichever I saw fit and, uh, in my classroom. And sometimes there is no better way than getting one's old hands dirty by practicing writing Chinese characters um, using a piece of paper or paper. <laughs> although PowerPoint, uh, although Quizlet is very powerful, um, I started giving students options uh, by making their own flashcards if they prefer not to do so using Quizlet online. And one thing I've learned is that, you know, there's always technical glitches waiting to happen in the classroom. So uh, when I was teaching closing unit, I brought some of my own closing accessories as backups in case something went wrong with my presentation. <laughs> so learning, learning language is very complex. And uh, there has been a lot of technological innovations in recent years. However, use of technologies should never be the ultimate goal of teaching. And what I've learned so far is that each technology has its own strengths and weaknesses. And use of technologies might or might not make 
impacts on my students' learning under different circumstances. Recognizing that over 95% of my students um, felt that it was use of technology had helped them um, learn Chinese in both March and May survey. And uh, I will continue exploring and experimenting with different technologies in my classroom going forward. And more importantly, I will try to make wise decisions on whether, when, what, and how to use technologies in teaching and students' learning in my future practice. Thank you. that this decision could be out of the teacher's hand if the school or the district is very pro-technology and they would have required that students do all of their work on a laptop or an iPad? Um, I'm not aware of, because I, I did my uh, placement, um, longer one at uh, Big Middle School and then the shorter one, the mini placement, also in Newton, Newton North. So I'm not, so it's within the same district. I'm not aware of uh, any specific policy about that uh, for that district per se. So I doubt it would be the case, but I cannot say for sure because really is you know like we can cannot you know basically um, teach without any technology for sure because this is the 21st century granted. But in the meantime, as I said, you know it shouldn't. It's one of the means. And then it should now be the only goal of teaching itself. So I don't, I wouldn't be worried about that. Yeah, if I could simply. Did you ever have your students try to make their own Quizlet set or their own PowerPoint? And if not, is that something you might try in the future? Uh, my students uh, were asked to make Quizlet study sets by themselves. You know, sometimes I did it, I, I did. I create static set online and then I have them practice using that and sometimes I have them, you know, make their own because by doing that it's also a kind of practice. And then um, yeah. And so, did that involve mental? Uh, yes, absolutely. Because they do, especially with uh, language learning. I mean practice is very key for success. Thank you. Yes, please. Um, is there any kind of um, an app? that you have ever heard of that is sort of diagnostic that you could give to a student to find out if a student does better with PowerPoint or Quizlet or some other thing? You mean the, the app that well, like, like, so that use of technologies? Give, like, like you could give a student a test mm -hmm. and the test would identify what technologies might be best for the student. Uh, I didn't do that. I did two surveys, basically to. Have you ever heard of any kind of uh, diagnostic tool like that? No. Yeah, I'd love to know. And uh, if um, you you know that already, no, I'm not aware of that. But I will. I can certainly look into that. Yeah, and that would be very helpful, obviously. But because I did have trouble actually to find existing uh, research. Um, on similar topics in a similar school setting to the classroom. And when I was doing this research, and because there, to my surprise, there weren't many out there in a, for a similar school or classroom or grade setting, or even language. Yep. You have two minutes left, so you oh, can okay. take one question if you want. Please do. Uh, I'm just curious about the details. Yeah. Uh, what is the specific requirement for specific homework? Because mm -hmm. as far as I know, like the first part, fresh part, and the match part are very easy. Mm -hmm. But the third part and the last part, gravity, yes. they are so hard for Chinese, for Chinese language oh. learners. Yes. At yes. least like optional or you require? Now, when I um, normally um, for for a homework requirement and ask them to do like five minutes, that's kind of like you know, say five minutes, five minutes. But normally students um, went beyond that, you know, like beyond five minutes. And because oftentimes um, some students finish gravity, like you, 
you're very aware of is one of the activities or study modes and the offer by this tool. And then that takes a lot of time. And just to finish that one activity, right? Yes, the gravity, that's the last one. Yes, they, yeah. So that's um, it's not um, actually um, unrare uh, in the class that I taught. Some students, um, if not all, study really hard. Yep. Okay. Thank you.